Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. O oh Lord, truly I am thy servant. I am thy servant and the son of thy hand. Thou hast loosened my bonds. I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving and will call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in his presence all his people in the courts of the Lord's house in the midst of thee. O Jerusalem, praise ye the Lord. We thank God for his blessed word. Praise the Lord. We'll be reading from Revelation chapter 21 verses 1 through 4. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with me, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, neither crying. Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Thank God for the reading of the word. Do not only teach us our Lord and Savior. The redeemer of our soul. Thank you, God, for this church. Our church, the temple, tabernacle, temple. I am Apostle Smith, Marvin Smith. I come to you from West Palm Beach, Florida. We're here in a revival for two weeks. And we're grateful to be able to sit in this great home going to Pastor Hamilton, to the Berea family, friends, and all the points. We bring you peace from God to Jesus Christ. I think of Sister Renee that when they came under our ministry, there was just one song that she used to sing that pulled me close to her. It was my favorite song that the good choir sang from the family of the church. They were a good choir. And the church here. And they came to West Palm Beach to our general assembly 
and they will set Sister Renee right in the far left hand corner. Looking so innocent, so quiet, so peaceful and still. And then they called the choir and gave her the mic. First, her good friend, Sister Ann, sang her song. Kind of needed to get us warm. We're from Florida, we're from the old time school, old time holiness, and sanctified, stirred up sisters. And we were looking to see what North Carolina was going to do to the Lord. It gave her that night, and the music took off. And the next thing I know, Sister Renee opened her soprano mouth. And oh my God, did she blow Florida right off the mat. She began to sing that song, Rejoice. Rejoice. Hallelujah. 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 That's all part of the song. And then when she get to that high note, where many people sing it in the undertone and go a little lower, she took that note on head on and charged it through and she killed it. She nailed it. I looked up, I stood up. I couldn't see him. I was trying to look behind me, see who in the world is this thing like a professional. And when I couldn't see it, I said, that's enough. I can't do it like that. I can't do it in front of come around and look. And I had to see for myself. She sang that song and the whole church, including the children, were up. Every time she said rejoice, 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 they jumped in the shower. And oh, everyone who came, she had to sing that song for us because that was the song that touched our heart. And I can believe that. She can sing it now. Amen. Don't be so sad. Be sad because you got a heart. I know. You got emotion. I know. But you also got a spirit. She said, This is the day that the Lord has made. And let us rejoice and be glad. <laughs> you all rejoice. Be glad. Soldier of the Lord, gone home. In West Palm Beach, we love Sister Renee. She sang like a pro. She was so humble. And today, I thought about it in the office back there, and I'm getting ready to pray. One of the greatest things a pastor can ask for, brethren, is to raise a child from the age of accountability until their death in the church. That, that, that's a pastor's dream. They never have a chance to go out in the world and waste their youth in righteousness. They spend their whole life under the covering of Jesus Christ. She's only 14 years old and she got saved. Has to tell the whole story about it. But she got saved and never had a break in fellowship. She got saved on the true holiness, sanctification, no compromise, no fear, no favor, no respect for person, but live hope. Today, too many people got religion, but they don't have true salvation. And when we get ready to go up, I heard this scripture came to my heart. Give me just a minute. John 11, 28. 
25, that I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead in this fleshly body, yet shall he live. He even told his disciple, I'm praying that he's not dead. He's only sleeping. And if you sleep, you've been in a deep sleep before when you really were just enjoying it and you didn't want to wake up, you just were sleeping, maybe snoring, calling a few hogs and you come in there. And, and you really were deep in that sleep and somebody just came and just shook. <coughs> just quickly and woke up. That's what it's going to be like. When Jesus comes, you're going to shake the thing. Shake the sister man. And she would have been proving the point that she was dead. She was just sleeping. He said, and whosoever shall believe in me shall never die. Believe in God, this. This is where I pray. Because too many people got religion. What the world has made to be religion took away so much of what God put in. Every year, more and more, it's taken out of the gospel. People are taken down and living anything and calling it salvation. Amen. Living any old kind of life, calling it the same. You can hold on, you can lie, you can steal, you can party, you can gamble, you can do everything and still be saved. There's preachers who want big houses and big cars. They're food that we can just repent and you'll be all right. But God will say, shall you continue in sin and grace about it? No. He came to save us from I mean, when you get saved, it's going to show you how to deal. Free from sin. It is possible. So if you want to get up that day, I'm praying with Pastor Howard. That when he gets his mind and begin to preach his word today, that somebody will believe on the word she preached and believe that they will never die and come on up here and feel your life that Jesus, those who've been planted in church, whoever that may be, will come and give their life in sincerity to Jesus and stop playing in the church, stop pretending and be real. Sister so Renee was real. She got saved one way and she never changed. Salvation don't change. With the times. It's always the same. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. I'm going to pray now. Hoping that God will touch somebody's heart to want to live again and never die. And Pastor Hamilton will get to preach. And I know she'll have an altar call. She always does that, Pastor Hamilton. She cares for soul. She's been here all these years preaching through all this. And she has not changed. One thing you can say about her, no matter what you think about it, you can't say that it ever changed what she said. She still preached the same old fashioned gospel. And that's what it's going to take to get you resurrected. That's what it's going to take to get you called. I'm going to need some power to preach last night. Get up out of that faith and call up and meet him in the air. Lift your hands up. I'm ready to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come to you in behalf of this bereaved family. In behalf of all those who are devastated by the shock of her departure. I throw your loving arm around their shoulder. Let them feel your comforting presence in the name of Jesus. 
prosper in their ear. And you will be with them as long as they are with you always until the end of the day. Down there they go through the early days of her departure. Help them learn how to live with her absence. Help them learn how to focus on the good memories and the fact that she was a child of God. Say, sanctify, and feel the dog because touch their heart to want to be the same. Lord, give them an open mind to have an understanding that you didn't change the word. Neither shall your way change. You're the way to truth and life. Comfort the family. Touch the pastor's heart. Teach what you give them. Let it draw like a magnet. Souls to Jesus Christ. Help everybody in the building to know that Jesus is coming soon and in the midst of a pandemic. They can be saved and you can cover them in your blood to never catch the virus. Now Lord, put them in your hand. Keep them in your care. This day, as we proceed along, in Jesus' name, the name of the Lord.